Overall, I do feel like this was in pretty much every way my ideal writing day. What is that? What does that sit? What are you doing? Here's where things stand Wednesday morning. 9,000 words, 9,001 words. That's where Nil is. I wrote about 800 words yesterday. And today is my dedicated flow state day. I want to spend the entire day working only on this book and just no word count goal, just see what happens. I want to get deep in it and be focused on it. I had one task this morning, uh, which was actually a client call at nine o'clock. This was uh, for the video game that I've talked about before with you guys. It's been going on since last summer. And actually they have done a very, very soft launch. So soft that I'm still not allowed to talk about it. They wanted to get a small number of users to give them feedback, which they have gotten tons of, and they're kind of revamping some stuff, including how the story is told and how the player interacts and that is going to involve me and so the call we had just now was about kind of a rush project that I'm going to be doing over the next three weeks um, but a really fun one it's just it's hard to explain but it's taking scripts and dialogues that I've written and kind of reformatting them to fit this new way that they're approaching telling the story in the game um, so that's gonna be fun and the call is over now and I am gonna start working on that tomorrow, but today is still all about nil. <laughs> so before the call started, I managed to sneak in 200 words. I knew that if I pushed off starting nil, like the longer I waited, the longer, the, the harder it would be for me to get into it. So I reread what I wrote yesterday. I wrote 200 more words to that scene. I'm in it now and I need to I think I need a little bit of a reset. I need to clear my head of the video game talk that just happened. Um, I want to take Rosa on a walk, take myself on a walk, take my brain on a walk, and just kind of get, get back into the world of my book, if that makes sense. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna have some more coffee and let's just see what happens today. Is that a good walk? Okay, so I wrote about another hundred words and then realized I was writing kind of slow because I don't have this scene very specifically outlined. I just have like general ideas of things I want to happen. And there's actually a setting, Nil is about to attend an event in a particular setting that is not from any of my previous old versions set in this world. So there's nothing I can steal from my old drafts and I'm gonna have to like spend some time coming up with descriptions and I just realized this is a good place to use dictation in a way I think is going to work for me. And that is the technique Rachel Aaron talks about in her book 2K to 10K, which I talked about a long time ago. It was a complete game changer for me, where she writes out a full summary of what's going to happen in the scene and then goes back and first drafts it. And even though you're producing more words technically, the process goes a lot faster. I have found this to be very true. And when I first started doing it, I did it all with typing. But when I talked about what did and did not work for me 
with dictation when it came to drafting Dragon Balloon, I mentioned I think the reason I started to struggle with that draft is because I can't use dictation writing a first draft, but I can try using dictation to summarize a scene and get all of the details out of my head and then maybe that will make writing the first draft go faster. So seems like a good time to give that a shot. Uh, let's see, it's 10.50. I'm just gonna let myself talk this scene out for 10 minutes, see what happens, and then see how quickly the draft comes after that. Something I'm experimenting with today, instead of treating the flow state as sitting down and just writing for hours and hours and hours on end and trying to produce thousands and thousands of words, while occasionally that is something I've managed to do in the past, I have to say it's not always enjoyable. <laughs> and I. I've written, I'm, it's like the middle of the afternoon, 2.30, and I've written about 2,000 words, which is great. I am nowhere near done for the day, but um, because, you know, late afternoon is when I start to like lag a little bit, I'm thinking it'll probably help if I periodically take breaks and do something um, that's still constructive or productive, but that allows me to just kind of think, turn the story over in my head and then sit down and write maybe another 500 words. So right now I'm cleaning out part of the cupboard above my desk, just one shelf, and then, you know, maybe I'll write another 500 words, then clean out the second shelf and move on to the next cabinet. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. I'm just gonna kind of do this off and on until dinner, and then maybe even write a little bit this evening. I'm just kind of curious to see how long I can keep my head in this story, because right now, I'm still very much enjoying it. I'm not tired of writing and I'm not feeling bad or feeling weird about the book at all. I did cross the 11,000, oh gosh. <laughs> I did cross the 11,000 word mark, by the way, so we are making progress. Um, anyway, I found something. Years ago, I ordered this laptop case and I don't know why, I think because it's just kind of big. I never actually used it, but uh, it feels very significant because I'm writing a time travel book. Please tell me you know what this is. Comment below and tell me you know what this is from. I know you guys know what this is from. So many old manuscripts. from my past life as a travel writer. <laughs> If you're in need of a fortune teller and you happen to be visiting Coney Island, I've got you covered. <laughs> when I told two of my best friends that I was moving from New York back to Dallas, they bought me tickets to Hamilton as a surprise going away present, which does it get any better than that. No, it does not. I couldn't find this documentary online when I wanted to watch it years ago, so I bought the DVD, The Coney Island Obsession. I can't, I can't fully explain it, I can't. I'd say that's an improvement. Ooh.
And the grand total is 12,087 words. I say grand total, but honestly, I do think I might continue doing little 100, 200 word bursts here or there tonight. Uh, but it's about six o'clock and Rose is getting kind of antsy. Overall, this was really a fun way to do this. Normally, I just like seeing if I can get all of, like, majority of my work done in the morning and then the rest done by like two or three o'clock, but I found it more relaxing today to kind of like intersperse writing in little chunks with um, taking care of tasks like cleaning my cabinet, walking Rosa, cooking, eating, all that stuff. It did, I think, contribute to the flow state because my head has definitely been in this book all day. And the thing with the goal of sitting down and just writing for several hours straight, I, it's, it's just, I only do that when I have to, when I'm on deadline and I've let things slide a little too long, you know? I don't like to write that way. I, I feel, my mind feels more stagnant the longer I sit, you know? Like, at one hour is okay, but after that, ugh, I need to move around, I need to think, I need to step away from the document and get my head away from the words that I've written and like actually go back to the fun part, the daydreaming about the story. I think that's really important. It was, I feel like I was very much in the flow state for most of today. There were some interruptions. The best one was one of those photos app memories popped up for me two years ago today because that was the day that I adopted Rosa and it did send me on about 15 minutes of scrolling through some pretty ridiculous puppy videos, which we can't complain about that, right? I mean, it's never a waste of time to look at puppies. So, you know, if that's all I get today, 3,000 words, that's a great day. I am feeling really good about this. The, as, as tends to happen, I am veering a little bit away from my outline. I'm trying to pull it up right now. I don't know where it went. I'm at the scene before the catalyst, which is pretty, pretty great. So after this catalyst scene, debate one, debate two, break into two, I keep moving, moving the goalpost. I'm not going to set a deadline for myself for act one anymore. I'll get to it when I get to it. We'll get there. I do still think I can have a draft of this book by mid-September, especially if every Wednesday is like this Wednesday, that would be great. I do have a goal to write at least a thousand words of this tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. I do have a little bit more work to do now because of that video game project, but that's fine. Overall, I do feel like this was in pretty much every way my ideal writing day because it was fun. I was working on a project I'm excited about. I got a lot of words in and it felt like progress. It is progress, but it was also really relaxing. I, I feel like I did so many other things today aside from work on this book and yeah that was a good experiment. I, I like this. I'm looking forward to every Wednesday being like this. How does it work for you? What does your ideal writing day look like? Have you had it before or is it just you know a fantasy that you hope you can have one day or did you used to think your ideal writing day looked one way and then you discovered it was another because i've been there too <laughs> let me know in the comments below tell me how everything is going for you and i will see you guys on what day is today it's gonna be friday tuesday with another vlog bye